Hello, my name is Dr. Hector Valenzuela, and I'm a biology professor at Whittier College. The research focus of my laboratory is on aging of the immune system. For the last eight years, my laboratory has been collaborating with Rep Genetics, testing natural compounds that extend the lifespan and function of human cells. To this end, my laboratory has researched resveratrol and curcumin and various forms of these and other compounds in order to determine how they affect cells and more specifically, how these compounds affect the proteins that will they then determine how long the cells will live. If you walk with me, I can show you where we carry out the experiments and where we have some of the equipment that we use to carry out these experiments. So this is where we store our cells. We have multiple cell lines in addition to normal cells from various donors. In order to keep them for long periods of time, we freeze them in liquid nitrogen and keep them in these cryogenic tanks. When we have need of the cells, we put them out of the cryogenic tanks and thaw them back in an active metabolic state. So let me go ahead and put these cells back where they belong. We're now in the tissue culture room. In this room, we grow and treat our cells with different natural compounds, such as curcumin and resveratrol. The cells are handled in sterile conditions and then kept in the incubator for growth. So right now, what I'm doing is resuspending the cells and taking a small sample so that I can count the cells and calculate not only the growth rate, but also the viability of the cells and determine if the cells are dying from the treatment or if they're living longer. As I mentioned before, we test compounds that extend lifespan, but we also are interested in determining if the function of the cell has been improved as well. To determine this, we use various instruments to detect protein signaling or gene expression. This is one such equipment. This is a real-time PCR instrument that allows us to quantitate gene expression of longevity genes such as sirtuins and telomerase, but we also measure other genes known to influence how long a cell lives, and therefore we influence the health of a human being. I hope this video illustrates some of our efforts that go into studying natural compounds and the effects they have on our cells, our proteins, and in turn, our health.